ever sound tricksy. Uh, the hooks are big, the lyrics are fascinating and strange. I recently read an interview with their front woman and chief songwriter, who's called Derv Minogue, uh, where she claimed that what she was trying to do is write songs that sounded like the Strokes. If that's the case, she's getting it hopelessly wrong, and you can only hope she continues to get it hopelessly wrong, because the music on company is infinitely more interesting and exciting than that. It sounds very British to me, uh, which is a little ironic given that Minogue comes from Galway. They've got a sound that I think is very much their own, but two things the drink reminded me of uh, were broadcast, particularly a track called Dead Ringers. There's something about the melody of that track that, that definitely carries the mark of the late Trish Keenan about it. And the other thing was the spooky cosmic English music of early Steel Eye Span, especially in the harmonies. Now, if the name Steel Eye Span causes you to stifle a snigger and think of all around my hat, uh, I suggest you head over to Spotify, YouTube, and search for a track called Lovely on the Water from their second album, Please to See the King. Thank you later. Anyway, whether that's what they're influenced by uh, or not, and it seems it's probably likely they're not, the end results on company are really intriguing. I'm fascinated to hear what the drink will do next, but for now, this will be fine. It's out there.